was popping, man. I watched Kim and Mace uh, interview Stephen A. Smith. I think that was a dope interview. Um, I think here and there, I've heard about Stephen A.'s story, um, you know, where he grew up, his lineage, all of that, to gain on ESPN, um, you know, uh, working in Philly, covering Iverson. Um, you know, I've heard all these stories. So, but I haven't heard anybody really interview him like from beginning to end. And I didn't expect Cam and Mace to do that, right? So going and not having that expectation, you know, um, I can only speak to them debating sports and talking sports and also, you know, the image that Stephen A painted of himself, right? So let me start off with Stephen A. I was um I was very, very impressed. Look, Stephen A is very controversial. There's been times where I totally disagree with him. And then the older that I got, I came to understand him. And, you know, with our people, when they can stay tall and strong in the industry that's operated by, you know, forces that it's not of their kind, you got to tip your hat. You know what I mean? It takes it takes a kind. He's a legend, you know, and I, I kind of realized in the interview uh, with Mace and Cam that he's been pulling on a lot of people and people might not even look at it like that. Stephen A has worked so hard, has dedicated uh, uh, himself uh, to ESPN, to sports, covering um, 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 athletes. He's earned his stripes to the point. I'm sure he can make phone calls and put people in position. And when I kind of like realized that, I was like, yeah, you got to salute that because there's a lot of brothers that he's putting out. And Stephen A has never shied away from saying, uh, speaking about race, even on national television. Like, like he is always, if he felt like black people was getting the short end of the, of the stick or black athletes wasn't treated right due to race or certain things, White people could get away with, but black people couldn't get away with. Stephen A has been the one that would speak up. Sometimes he would just stand 10 toes down on the fact that black people got to work. Don't just um, be, be entitled. So I think whenever he criticized black people, he gets this backlash of, you a cone, oh, you're not with us, you sold your soul, da 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 da. But all the times he stands up for black people, I think a lot of times it's acknowledged and sometimes it's, it's, it's ignored. I think the black community, because the black community don't like to take accountability, it's always like, if you are a leader, always only make us look good. But if you only make us look good and don't tell the truth, <laughs> then we're going to live in a lie and a delusion and always wonder why. We get in the short end of the stick and we're not able to rise and fight against the oppression or the things that's in our way or be able to compete fairly with other people by standing up as men and going and get it and stop being, oh, I'm so real, I can't do And this is one of the things he was saying. I'm so real, I can't do this. I'm too real for that. No, go, 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 go work. Chase your passion. Do what you got to do. Wake up every day. Show up, you know? No low management. Go get it. And I salute him. I salute Stephen A. And I love the fact that he went and sat down with Cam and Mace. Because that says a lot, too. Like, he literally went and sat down with Cam and Mace, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Cam and Mace show was so raw. They let it all out. Stephen A works for Disney. Still was like, yo, I'm going to go sit down with these brothers. Because, you know, one day... Maybe he want to see them on TV. You know, give him a boost. You see Cam rapping. Cam played basketball when he was young. Went rapping, has done businesses. Now he's doing a, a whole sports show. Stephen A can give him a boost. So like I said, he's one of the people you can call. And he will come and ignite whatever you got going on. So he is a pillar, right, in the black community. You know what I'm saying? He is a pillar going from the streets, edu gain education to gain on TV. Becoming a pillar that can always be of assistance you know what i mean so i like that and also i love them debating um and going back and forth and i love him and mace going back and forth and it was like oh i'm like i could see this on tv you know and i love how he was honest that you know he doesn't want to work with skip no more because he's too big to work with skip you know what i mean uh and max kellerman he didn't want Max. he didn't want to work with max kellerman he did not shy away or hide from that he was honest and i respect that and that was a great episode